Festival. Hi, I'm Ashul Baghdadi from Cabin Pictures. Uh, and on behalf of my coachers, I'd like to start off by thanking the amazing Mira Blaustein, Lawrence, and Nikki, and to the rest of the extraordinary staff of the Woodstock Film Festival. You guys are amazing. We love you. And it's just so wonderful being here for the last couple of days out of the hustle of New York City and being in this beautiful part of Woodstock. And just thank you for this amazing experience. So, um, the Woodstock Film Festival is honored to present the annual Diane Seligman Award, an award named in the memory of a beautiful person who celebrated life in the way that she lived. The Diane Seligman Award is presented to the best short documentary, best short narrative, and the best student short to honor films that are vibrant, life-affirming, and created by filmmakers filled with energy, creativity, and passion. These awards are given at the request of Diane's husband, Marvin Seligman, who I had the pleasure of sitting next to during the jury dinner, um, and in the hope that it will help young, vibrant, and talented filmmakers carry on their work and pursue their dreams. The Diane Seligman Award winner for Best Short Documentary will receive $500. I think this is my sixth time at this festival, and I always call it like, it feels like coming into a big hug. It's amazing seeing all of you here tonight and so thrilling to be doing this. The short documentaries in competition this year could not have been stronger, from their storytelling to their production value, and we really fell in love with the main characters in all of these films. We feel they're all, as Mira said, worthy of awards. The films in final competition for best short documentary this year are The Bronzer by Peyton Wilson, and I'm gonna have you also hold applause till we read them all off. El Ultimo Hiliero, The Last Ice Merchant, directed by Sandy Patch. Mondays are Racine, directed by Cynthia Wade. Meet Kevin, directed by Masia Golusky, and I apologize for the pronunciation now. And Randy Parsons, American Luthier, directed by David Aldrich. And the Maverick Award for Best Short Documentary goes to The Last Ice Merchant, Sandy Patch. <laughs> Tables. Um, thank you. This is this is awesome. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, this was an awesome experience, and this was my first movie, and I'm really excited to be here and to share it with the people. And I'm really glad that people enjoyed it, and I'm particularly glad to share you know, the story in, in the movie of Balthazar, the last ice merchant of Ecuador. Um, you know, and and this very much you know goes to him. I can't wait to call him. Well, you know, to call him, I have to call my friend in Ecuador who calls his daughter who goes to his house and tells him. And he's going to be really excited. That's going to be awesome. Um, so thank you very much. This is a great privilege. Uh, 